they're not laughing anymore, brothers and sisters. I'm going to say that again. Your enemies aren't laughing anymore. Amen. Somebody put down in the comment section below, laugh now, cry later. See, it was all fun and games when they looked at your dreams. Amen. They started laughing. They mocked you. Listen, so many people talked about you. So many people said things in rooms that you weren't in. And I want you to know that though they mocked you, though they talked about you, the tables will turn. Somebody put down in the comment section below, the tables will turn on my enemies. Yeah. To where God is going to take them from laughing at you to where God will be laughing at your enemies. Here's proof. Luke 6, 25 says this. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Laugh now, cry later. Somebody put that down right now. That's powerful. God says, even though you might have all the money now, you will be hungry later on. The Most High God says, even though you're laughing now, you will be crying later on. Why? Because the Bible says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. When they laughed at you and mocked you, they went to people who can help you out. And they made it a joke. Amen. Your dreams, your goals, your visions, they made it a joke. But here's where your enemies messed up. Those dreams came from God. Those dreams were righteous dreams. Amen. When God called you in purpose, God is the one who directed you. The Bible says the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. God ordered your steps. So if the enemy laughed at the steps and at the ordering that God ordered you, what do you think God's going to do? God is going to turn the tables on your enemies. Here's further proof. Proverbs 29, 9 says this. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. Somebody put down in the comment section below, no rest for the week. That scripture right there, Proverbs 29, 9. I'm going to absolutely guarantee you that your family listen to people in the world, which is warlocks. They listen to negative things about you and they join together with them on one accord. And what did God say? God said, if a man, if a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, whether it's anger towards you or laughter, there is no rest. So, you're going to see people who's going to be brought down out of nowhere because they were ones who spoke against you in the dark. You knew nothing about it. You got people who got your name in their mouth. Somebody put down in the comment section below, keep my name out your mouth. Somebody put that down right now. You got people with your name in their mouths and you don't even know them. Amen. You don't know who they are. You don't even know where they come from. But somehow, some way, they're speaking on you. That is a word curse. That's a word spell. That is witchcraft. And you got to be very careful with the things that you speak and the things that you say. Because there are people who are trying to delay the future of a chosen vessel of God. And you will face judgment for that. You won't have rest. Now, let's keep going. Here it is. This is the most high. Proverbs 126. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you your fear cometh. You see that? Did you hear what the most high God just said? The most high God just said this. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So God says, you want to mock me? You want to mock my children? 
when your fear cometh, I'm going to mock you. Let's keep going. It says this. This is uh, Psalms 59.8. It says this. But thou, O Lord, shall laugh at them. Thou shall have all the heathen in derision. You see that, brothers and sisters? Yeah, I know. A lot of you didn't know. Oh, I thought God was all love. God is all love. But God also has a sense of humor as well. So you should thank me for showing you the God that you serve. Yeah. The God that you serve, don't play. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 7, it says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. God is not mocked. Somebody put down in the comment section below, God is not mocked. In other words, whatever you sow out there, you're going to reap. So if you're out there laughing at people, you know, kiki and ha ha, and you know how your enemies are childish, right? Playing games with people's lives. It's going to come a time where God is going to reverse the roles. God is going to put that on you. Amen. You didn't support nobody's business. You didn't help nobody out. You didn't uplift no one. You thought it was funny when they brought you their business deals. It's going to come a time when you need help with your business and God is going to put people right there that can help you. And you want to know what's going to happen? God is going to bless those people who you laughed at. Amen. And God is going to curse you. Listen, nobody's going to take you serious, right? Nothing's going to prosper in your life. That's the truth. That's what happens. You can't mock God. And the powerful thing about the most high God is he holds people accountable. Amen. He holds people accountable for the evil actions. All right. So you can't run around here in this world and think you can do what you want to do. I know Satan makes it clear and makes it an easy place, an easy way for you to do evil and wicked in this world. But you dealing with something called spiritual law, baby. Amen. You're dealing with the spiritual laws from God and God don't play about his children. God don't play about you, brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. And it says this. Now, this is the righteous. Psalms 52, 6 says this. The righteous also shall see in fear and shall laugh at him. Let's go there. That's powerful. Let's go there real quick. Here it is. It says this. God shall likewise, this is Psalms 52, 5. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Salah. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. All right. It says this low. This is the man that made not God his strength but trusteth in the abundance of his riches and strengthen himself in his wickedness. That's a break. So the one that God is going to do this to is the man that what the man that made God, not his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthen himself in his wickedness. There's a lot of enemies out there that did not make the most high God, right? Their strength. Instead, they made wickedness their strength. Instead, they trusted in riches in this world. And when God says that he's pouring out this judgment, right? He says that the righteous shall see it in fear and laugh. Understand that, man. You don't play with God. If you got a problem with what God says, take it up with God. I'm just exposing you the truth. All right? Seeing fear. And laughter. That's what's going to happen when that judgment is being poured out to the evil. So all those people out there that's lying to you, talking about there's nothing that's going to come their way, they're liars. Come on, let me get a man that's powerful. I'm going to say it again. All the people out there that's been lying to you, making it seem like there's nothing that's going to come the wicked way they have been lying to you. All right? We deal with a just God and God don't play about you. Somebody put down in the comment section below, divine retribution, divine judgment, brothers and sisters. Amen. Check this out. It says this Psalms 2, 4 says, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. The most high God that sit in heaven. Just so you know who he's talking about. He's going to be the one that's going to laugh and have them in derision. All right. Understand it. God do not play. Okay. I don't know what they done put out there. 
But you got to understand the reason the enemy, the witches and warlocks put it out there that you can do whatever you want and there's no judgment out there. It's because they're wicked. Amen. It's because they have been doing evil in their lives and they don't want you to know about the wickedness that they've been doing. But brothers and sisters, for all the people that laughed at you, that talked about your dreams, that did all those things, God is going to be laughing at them. Amen. I don't want you to stress yourself out about the situation on what you're going through right now in life because the tables will turn and you will be sitting in that seat of glory and victory, brothers and sisters. And what I mean by that is you're going to win. You're a winner. Amen. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I'm a winner. And what the enemy is trying to do is trying to paint you as a loser. They want you to be a loser so bad. But when you serve the mighty God, when you when you worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, amen, you're a winner. Why? Because Christ is a winner. The Most High God is a winner. So I want to leave you off with that to let you know that the wicked will laugh now, but they will be crying later. And I just proved that to you according to Scripture. All praises to the Most High. Stay righteous, brothers and sisters.